Ever wondered how to conduct a reconnaissance in pen testing? It's a crucial first step to understand your target's digital landscape. Reconnaissance, or recon as it's often called, is like a digital stakeout. It's gathering intel on a target system to identify potential vulnerabilities and believe me, it's a game changer in the world of pen testing. Think of it as a detective assembling the pieces of a puzzle before cracking a case. You're doing the same, but with networks and systems. The better your recon, the more effective your penetration testing will be. During this tutorial we'll get our hands dirty with some of the most potent tools of the trade. We're talking about utilities like Nmap, for network scanning, HUIs for domain information, and NSLOOKUP for DNS queries. These are the magnifying glasses and fingerprint kits of our cyber investigation. Ready to embark on the reconnaissance journey? Hold tight, as we dive deeper into the world of pen testing. First, you must ensure your environment is set up correctly for the task at hand. In the world of pen testing or penetration testing, having a secure and safe environment is crucial. This isn't just about protecting your own systems, it's about ensuring your pen testing endeavors are ethically and legally sound. Let's start with the network. You'll want to be operating on a secure network, one that's not easily susceptible to external threats. This could mean setting up a dedicated network for your pen testing activities or using a secured wireless network. But remember, security is a journey, not a destination, so always stay vigilant and keep your network security updated. Now let's talk about virtual private networks or VPNs. A VPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your system and the server you're connecting to. This is crucial for pen testing as it masks your IP address, providing an additional layer of security and anonymity. There are several VPN services available, both free and paid. Choose one that best suits your needs and remember to always have it activated during your pen testing activities. Next on the list is your pen testing toolkit. The choice of tools can vary depending on the nature and scope of your pen testing activities. However, some tools are universal and should be part of any pen tester's arsenal. We'll delve deeper into these tools in the subsequent scenes. Beyond the technical setup, there are ethical considerations and legalities to be aware of. Pen testing is about finding vulnerabilities and helping to fix them, not exploiting them for malicious purposes. Always ensure you have the necessary permissions before you start testing and always respect the boundaries set. Finally, it's important to have a system for documenting your findings. This could be as simple as a notepad or as complex as a dedicated software. The key is to keep it organized and accessible, as this will be your reference throughout the pen testing process and beyond. With our environment primed, we can now proceed to the actual reconnaissance. Brace yourselves. Nmap, a powerful tool in the hands of a pen tester, can reveal a wealth of information about a target's network. Nmap, short for Network Mapper, is a free and open source tool that pen testers use for network discovery and security auditing. But it's not just a simple scanner. Nmap provides a comprehensive view of the network, revealing details such as what hosts are available, what services those hosts are offering, what operating systems they are running, and what type of packet filters or firewalls are in use. Let's dive right into how to use Nmap for network scanning. First, you'll need to open your terminal. To scan a network you simply type nmap, followed by the IP address or domain name of your target. For example, if you wish to scan the host at 192.168.1.1, you'd type nmap 192.168.1.1. Now, what you're seeing on the screen are the results of a basic nmap scan. The output includes a list of open ports, the services running on those ports, and the version of those services. This information can provide valuable insights into potential vulnerabilities. But Nmap is not limited to basic scans. There are different types of scans you can perform, each with its own unique purpose. For instance, a SYN scan invoked by adding the SS option to your command is a stealthy scan that can bypass firewall protections. An ACK scan invoked with SSA can be used to map out firewall rules. Choosing the right scan depends on the specific context and what you're aiming to achieve. It's important to understand that each scan type has its own benefits and drawbacks. The more you familiarize yourself with these options, the more effectively you can tailor your approach to each unique situation. Nmap has given us insights into our target's network. Let's dig deeper with some other tools. Remember, network scanning with Nmap is just one part of the reconnaissance process. There's a whole suite of tools and techniques at your disposal to gather as much information as you can about your target. HUIs and NSLOOKUP, two essential tools that can provide us with valuable domain information. 
Let's dive right in. First, we'll use WHOIS. This is a protocol that's used to query databases to obtain information about the registration of a domain or IP address. The WHOIS command can be used in most operating systems and it's as simple as typing WHOIS followed by the domain name you're interested in. So, if we wanted information on example.com, quote comma, we'd type whoisexample.com, quote dot. This command will return a wealth of information about the domain. Details like who owns the domain, their contact information, where the domain was registered, and when it was created or last updated. This information can be incredibly valuable in understanding who you're dealing with and planning your next steps. Now let's talk about NSLOOKUP. This is a network administration command line tool available in many computer operating systems for querying the domain name system DNS to obtain domain name or IP address mapping. To use NSLOOKUP you'll type NSLOOKUP in your command line followed by the domain name. So for example .com quote comma, it would be NSLOOKUP example .com quote dot this will return the DNS server information for that domain. The results will show you the name server and address records. The name server record or NS record maps a domain name to a list of DNS servers for that domain. This is where the website's DNS information is stored. The address record or A record maps a host name to a 32-bit IPv4 address. This tells you where the website is hosted. This DNS information is vital for understanding how a domain is set up and can often reveal vulnerabilities or weak spots in a domain's security that can be exploited. Remember, the information gathered from WHOIS and NSLOOKUP is only one part of the puzzle. It's essential to combine this with other information gathered during your reconnaissance to get a complete picture of your target. These tools have provided us with useful domain information, paving the way for a more targeted approach. Reconnaissance is not a one-time activity, it's an iterative process that evolves with your understanding of the target. Remember, the more we learn about our target, the better our strategy becomes. So what do we do with all the information we've gathered from NMAP, HUIs, and NSLOOKUP? We refine our pen testing strategy. Let's delve into this. Imagine the information as puzzle pieces. Each scan, each query, is a piece of the puzzle. And the picture we're trying to form? That's our target's security profile. We need to understand this picture to reveal potential vulnerabilities we can exploit. However, this isn't a random process. We need to be systematic and methodical. Keeping thorough notes is crucial. Jot down every finding, no matter how insignificant it may seem. You never know when a small detail might become the key to unlocking a target's defenses. As we gather more data, we refine our strategy. We might need to run more specific NMAP scans or dig deeper into the WHOIS records. We keep refining until we have a clear picture of our target's security profile. Now remember, reconnaissance is not about rushing. It's about patience and precision. It's about understanding your target so well that you can anticipate their moves. And while we're doing all of this, we're also developing our own skills, becoming better pen testers. Reconnaissance is the foundation upon which we build our attack. Without a strong foundation, our efforts could crumble. That's why we spend so much time on it. It's not just about finding vulnerabilities, it's about understanding our target in depth. And there's one thing more, always remember, the tools are just that tools. They're not magic wands. They're only as effective as the person using them. So keep honing your skills, keep learning, keep improving. And there you have it, you've just completed the reconnaissance phase of pen testing. What's next? Stay tuned to find out. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned today. We began our journey into the world of penetration testing with reconnaissance, the pivotal first step in any cybersecurity operation. We set up our environment, priming it for the tasks ahead. We then delved into the use of NMAP, a powerful tool for network scanning. We learned how to map out a network's topology, locate live hosts, and even identify open ports and running services. Next, we explored the domain information gathering tools, WHOIS and NSLOOKUP. We used WHOIS to obtain registration data about our target, and NSLOOKUP to retrieve DNS records. These tools gave us a deeper understanding of our target, aiding us in our objective. Through this journey, We've seen how each step, each tool, fits into the bigger picture of reconnaissance. Remember, knowledge is power. Use it wisely and ethically. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.